Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to do something a little bit different and introduce you to one of my favourite outdoor cooking systems. Now this is a great bit of kit, um, not too expensive, easily obtainable on Amazon. It's the Camping Gas Party Grill and this particular model is the 400 CV which basically means it comes with the lid. It's a very small compact cooker running on gas. It runs on the Camping Gas CV300 or this larger brother, the CV470. So I prefer to use the 470 because you just get a longer burn time, but obviously the little one is easier to carry. So, start off, you got you need to assemble it, which don't take long at all. You need to take off the lid. So it's just some little clips, three clips, and the lid also doubles as a fantastic wok, so it becomes a cooking pan as well, so that's really handy. Inside you have a griddle and flat pan, again for cooking on. There is your barbecue grill, a heat diffuser and a gas ring, gas cooker. But also in here is stored the three little legs that it stands on. So, assembly, when you get to wherever you're camping, it's very easy, you just turn it upside down, find a flat surface, screw in the three, three legs, don't need to over tighten. And while it's here, you can also install the gas. Um, and it is a simple twist lock, now these are quite expensive, this larger CV470 is about £10 in the UK, um, but I have learned how to refill them, which I'll cover in another, um, another video. So this gas just simply pushes on and twists till it clicks. I don't know if you heard that, there was a little click there, and basically that's it, ready to go. So, from this position, you decide what cooking you want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch off here, readjust the camera angle so you can get a better view and bring you back. So, in one or two minutes. And welcome back. And now I've readjusted the camera angle, you can get a better look at the cooking process or how it actually is fitted out. Now, you fill the bottom of this tray with water, just up to about halfway. That supposedly is to catch any drips and make it easy for cleaning. Um, but I've found it also helps keep the, um, keeps the heating element cool, stops it overheating also. And when you come to clean, you can just twist it off, take that away empty it out, give it a wash, just leaving the burner, so it's really handy, really easy to keep clean, and that just twists and locks back on. So, the first cooking option, you have the pot stand, this is, as it suggests, it's a very simple pot stand, just sits on the grooves there, and straight off, you've got a very simple gas ring, where you can put on your wok, this is the lid by the way, or you could also turn it the other way and turn it into a little oven, but you can use it as a, a wok. You could also put on there your, any of your normal pots and pans. This is a kettle, it's difficult to see there, but this is a kettle. As you can see, it's quite a large area, quite a nice large cooking surface. If you don't fancy cooking in a pan, you have, next have a heat diffuser. So this just goes on to stop any splashes directly onto the gas burner. And from there, you have a barbecue style grill option, so it just clips on. And on there, the diffuser gets nice and hot and you can literally just drop steaks or your sausages or whatever you want to cook or your fish straight on top of the burner. All of this, the heat is regulated, I keep knocking it, is regulated um, by a control knob on the front. And the third cooking option is the griddle. So again, you need the diffuser on for this, but you just swap out. This is a reversible non-stick griddle. So one side, 
you can put on and you get those nice grilled steak char lines if you want to just slop a couple of steaks on there some sweet corn and get those nice griddle lines or if you want to do something like eggs fried eggs you can turn it the other way and cook straight onto the hot plate both of these are excellent non-stick I've not been sponsored in any way but I do think this is a fantastic cook system I've used this many times and I dare you to tell that it's a really good cook system as long as you keep it clean um, you can also as I say if you want to do a pizza or something you can put the pizza on the griddle turn the wok upside down and it does actually fit and it becomes a little oven or pizza type grill so great fantastic bit of kit nice easy compact when you want to take it apart you just simply go in reverse like I say what you do need to do is you need to empty the water out and I've just shown you that just untwists lifts off washes out and then just goes back on as I've already shown you from that point on you can just turn it upside down the gas itself just unclips and pulls off simple as that and it's a self seal gas can and then you can just start packing it away after your camping trip fishing trip and just everything stores it does come with a nice little bag um, which I've got in the other room unfortunately and everything just goes back for storage and for travel you just need to make sure you get these little clips all lined up so everything is all centralised the last one is your griddle plate make sure it's all lined up and last but not least goes on your lid and just simple little snap rings around the side there just to get everything transported back home so great bit of kit sorry about the vibration there it's on the table now obviously and well recommended the only downside is these gas canisters can be quite these gas canisters can be quite expensive but I have found a way of refilling them you're not supposed to but you can refill these with the cheap little gas cartridges you can buy anywhere for a couple of pounds so I can refill these for the equivalent of three pound instead of paying the ten with that in mind a fantastic bit of camping gear so this is the camping gas party grill 400 I was so impressed I've even gone and got its big brother the one that you take into the garden it's exactly the same, runs off a large cylinder and it's a family size, you can cook a full size barbecue for a family on it, which I'll probably show you in another video. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.